In this video, I'll talk to you about Joseph Pinto's impending move to MLS. Something that really excites me and really shocks me because if I look at his potential, he's an amazing player and I'm thinking his next move should be Premier League. And if I check the other thing too, that is money, he has the decision to make. In this video, I'll tell you more about this. Joseph Pinto is a black star player and we all know what happened with him recently when uh, he was brought off in a game where he was performing very well. He won a, he won a penalty for the Blasters of Ghana. And when he won a penalty, he was brought off. Chris, Chris Hilton brought him off because of fatigue. And we all know these issues. And he's been training for a while now. And Joseph Pinto plays for Jenk in Belgium. And Jenk is one of the top most performing sides in Belgium, considering what they've, they've, been, they've been doing for the past uh, 10, 20 years. They've been a, very, a top flight side in a long time. And... Uh, he used to play in Ghana and then he had a, he had a chance to go to Jank and he's doing amazing, amazing, amazing player for Jank. And it's just reported that there's a move by a Belgian journalist that he's been linked to a summer move from Jank to MLS side LA Galaxy. So LA Galaxy is the club that Ricky Pook, Ricky Pook plays for now and David Beckham, David Beckham used to play for LA Galaxy. We saw David Villa to play for LA Galaxy. Uh, in the MLS and the MLS is trending because of Lionel Messi Lionel Messi plays in the MLS for Inter Miami so it means that if your Joseph Pinto go to the MLS he's going to play with play with Lionel Messi he'll probably meet Lionel Messi and he'll probably exchange guesses with Lionel Messi and it's something that really excites him but let's look at the move let's look at the move what do you think do you think he's supposed to go to MLS or stay in Belgium for me looking at a player uh, of his caliber Joseph Pinto I was thinking he'll probably uh, stay at Belgium for one more season or probably make a move you know from Belgium he can probably take a move to like let's say Brighton uh, Bangley or Leeds you know in the past He's been linked to a move from uh, Jeng to Everton. He was linked to a move from Be um, Jeng to Burnley. And then last last season, he nearly ended up at um, Leeds. You know, when Leeds were fighting for the relegation. But I think at the time, it was even Southampton were also scouting him. So I'm looking at this and I'm asking myself, why then MLS? It's an 8 million euros. 8 million euros contract. That's how LA Galaxy is going to buy him from Jenk. 8 million euros is a lot of money, you know, and he's probably going to make a lot of money if he moves from to LA Galaxy. But as of now, there aren't any reported figures coming out yet. And I'm sure if he makes a move from Jenk to, M to LA Galaxy, it will be a life changing money. A life changing money. And that's what players are looking for now because I grew up with him. I actually had a chance to stay with him for a while when we were growing up, and he's a twin. And you know, they used to live behind our house in Fadama. And at the time, I mean, I've seen him struggle a lot. And you know, seeing him go through all these things, and seeing him go to prayer, a lot of prayer session. I mean, I used to go to church with him too. I've seen him struggle all this while. And if there's a life changing money coming in, look, as Fadama boy, I think he's supposed to take it and I mean, change his life because this, this can change his fortunes forever and even change the fortune of his grandparents, you know. So, at where he is now should you choose money or choose more football it's something that people are talking about now and one thing too we have to know is the contract is about a four-year contract so we can probably take the money play for four years and probably come back to europe it works i mean we've seen players who go to go to uh, china and come back to europe so i mean he can go to the mls and come back to europe i mean it works for him illegal as will offer you a lot of money than what the premier league will give you honestly I mean, considering what if you if you look at the clubs and who 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 has the ability to pay more money, it's definitely the MLS. And if you look at a club like Southampton, Southampton will not spend a lot of money on Nami and a lot of uh, will not spend a lot of money on Joseph Pinto. That is one. And even if they pay a lot of money for him, he's going to pay a lot of they they will bury him with a lot of taxes. So you make all these decisions and you find out what can what you can do for your mother, what you can do for your family. And as a player, remember that he's not he's not he doesn't want to take care of himself. He has a lot of things to to take care of. I mean, back home, you know. When Asamojan moved to Al Ain, I think around after the World Cup, we we're, were asking why Al Ain, why, why Al Ain, you know. And Asamojan went to Al Ain, and, he, and he, I'm sure Asamojan even owns a private jet, but we don't know, you know. Asamojan made a lot of money in in Al Ain, and and it's something that he needed now. And now, no matter what you talk, if you can say anything you want to say, Asamojan is one of the richest players we ever had as a country. You get it? Yes. Yeah, so the money is really important. One thing about Jose Pinto has, has been his goal scoring record and, and his assist. You know, watching him grow, grow uh, growing up and watching him, I didn't really see him to be 
a kind of player who's going to play and be adding assists to his game. He was one player that was really very good at beating the marker, beating his opponent. I mean, when it comes to run like, like Jeremy Doku in that little tight space, he's very strong. But but in KLC Jenk, he's added a lot of goals and he has he has added a lot of assists. And if there's something called pre-assist, he's also doing that very well. So his value is shooting up. If it were you, and if it was your brother, would you let him go to uh, MLS or go to the Premier League? I want to know about. I want to know your thoughts about this in this video. And honestly, in the MLS is a less competitive league. I mean, MLS is a league that doesn't go to relegation. It's a league that you can play. Most of the players, I mean, in quotes, play for fun because it's not a league that you can be relegated. You get it. So in MLS, it will make him calm. He will not be. He will not be more competitive. We will not. We will not see his. Uh, we will not see his value more like even though you are playing in uh, belgium we are so you are pre shooting the didn't rate him as a player so imagine if you go to mls i, I don't know what the new coach of the blasters of ghana would do with that would that move but personally i think he should go to the mls go to the mls play for four years come back i mean come back to europe and then probably play some football many Canadian fans will side with me i mean they will want him to go to the mls make some money come back to europe and then that's what i'm sure that's what i think let me know what you think about this in the comment section the best year to come bye for now